Oh, welcome again. God bless you, child of God. It's a great opportunity to get you to this particular fourth day of the importance of pursuing unity and reconciliation in our leadership. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. We are urged to make every effort, you and myself, to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. God called us uh, to be the agents of reconciliation the agents of bridging divides and fostering unity among these people. I want you to consider uh, Nelson Mandela, a visionary leader who championed reconciliation and forgiveness in a post-apartheid South Africa. Despite the, uh, the fears of imprisonment and oppression, his commitment to unity and reconciliation helped heal a nation. So today, let us commit to pursuing unity and reconciliation in our relationships and communities. You seeking to build bridges rather than walls. I call the action today for you to do extend forgiveness to someone who have wronged you, wronged me, and seek reconciliation where there is division. May the Lord strengthen you as you step in into this position. May the Lord impact you. May His grace never depart from you. May you be peace. Stand with us again tomorrow and share this teaching at least about 15 people. God bless you. Love you. See you tomorrow.